<sighs> For a stab wound, there's not much blood. This will never be clean. I'm... Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No, no, no. It's broken. It has been broken for... Uh, for a long time. Akna! <sighs> I'll find another way around. There's something there. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> uh, how? Hello? Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. The servant girl? <laughs> I wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Sumak didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumak's business partner. So they were friends. They're much more than friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Ahau. More blood. Someone tried to clean this. This must be where Sumac was killed. The ground was disturbed here, recently. This must be the knife used in the murder. Put it back! You must! The mistress said if anyone saw it, she would get in trouble. Why would she get in trouble? Please, Ahau, don't make me! If anything happened to the mistress... You need to tell me everything. The mistress didn't come to the market with me. When I got back to my room, the gate was broken and there was blood everywhere. As the mistress called for the guards, she gave me the knife to hide. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your honesty, Akna. Please. <laughs> Please forgive me, Ahau. Please. Shoko will be brought to justice. A tragedy. I must see Shoko. Yes, Ahau. How can I help? You said earlier you'd been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. When Shoko returned, was Akna with her? No, it was only Shoko. Akna was not there. Why? Thank you, Taruka. Pakal, Taruka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife, Shoko. I found the knife she used. Arrest her! No! Shoko wasn't at the market. She waited until Taruka and Akno were away, then she stabbed Sumak in the neck several times. That's a lie! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Shoko moved his body where Taruka would easily find him. You're lying! 
Then she slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Silence! You will both be dealt with. Please, accept this as a token of our gratitude. Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahau. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. I should have done something. Now Unaratu is captured. The bottom part is damaged. How am I supposed to know what it says? It could mean anything. What are you doing? I'm trying to read this stupid mural. I will. Show respect. I'm sorry, Ahau. I mean no disrespect to Kukulkan. I'm studying the murals to become a serpent guard, like my father. I'm sure he's very proud of you. But what if I can't understand the lessons they're teaching? Then what? Maybe I can help. Do you think your father would mind that? Would he, Mayu? No, child. I'm sure your father would be pleased to learn you've had the Ahau's help. Great. I've got part of this first one here. It's water. Well, something about water anyway. Uh, I think. And the others I haven't looked at yet. How about I go and study all the murals and then come back to you and we can discuss them? I'll be here. I'm Lara, by the way. I will. When what is above him is now below, the fed become the food that sow. The ground, the earth, Aman, the corn god. Glide within him like a bird, but do not breathe. Water? So him must be Chuck, the god of rain. Manda, 
He erases the dark and brings the day that follows. That's the sun. Kinichihau is the sun god. The gods in the murals are all giving life and taking it away. A balanced interaction. The murals were teaching about the duality of life and death. Heavy stuff for a child. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Mayu. Where's the wheel? Is everything all right? I don't know. Her father came and collected her. He said he wanted to reward her for her studies and let her participate in a ritual. What ritual? The ritual of awakening. A how? That involves the sacrifice of a child. Do you think a wheel's father would harm her? I've known him for years. Today, when he came, he looked right through me. His eyes were black, empty. Where did he take her? To the abandoned village. Please, hurry. I should have done something. Now Unaratu is captured. And the other rebels, they'll make an example of them. God, what a mess.
They're waiting for you. This way. Let's get on with it. Ah, Ahau. I present to you my own blood, my daughter, Awil. Her mind and spirit are strong, stronger than any I've ever seen. I am so, so proud of my Awil. She will make a fine sacrifice. Here, the nectar of awakening. Hear me, Kinicha Hao, face of the sun. I offer you Awil, the chosen one. She will drink from the nectar of awakening, and her heart will be taken from her chest and cast onto the fire. The embers of my own flesh and blood, given to you so that you may not to extinguish the sun. Awil is Lara. I want you to run back to Mayu when I say, okay? A wheel, run! Why do I get the feeling this isn't over? The traitor is here. Somewhere. Check the buildings. They could be anywhere. A wheel, are you hurt? I'm fine. I ran just like you said. Clever girl. Why did you stop the ritual? A wheel, you were going to be killed. But that's how it is. I was chosen. My sacrifice would keep Kinicha Hao from taking the sun away. Father said he dreamed me, dreamed that I was special. A wheel, 
Dreams can be interpreted in different ways. What if you were meant to stay here on Earth and use your special power to become the greatest serpent god there ever was? Do you really think so? I do, yes. I can't wait to tell father. I will. Your father is... Going to be away for a while. So I will will stay with me, so she can continue her studies. Of course. I better get started now. There's still so much to learn. Thank you, Ahau. Yes, thank you, Ahau. I will make sure Awil is cared for. Please accept this bow as a thank you. It belonged to my mother. She was an eagle archer. May it serve you well. Thank you, Mayu. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it. May the gods smile upon you. I urge you to be wary, Ahau. We've broken the uprising, but they are still around. Alone, you are a target. I'm confident I can deal with any rebel I meet. <laughs> well said. They can't stand against us. Although, they did fight like demons. They fight for their survival. All these fallen soldiers, far more rebels than cultists. Hachebanu chik in Topicono. Chenhum pelva telelo y helbe shunaje. Ishan in Tuku.
The collection of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar, usually representing a 52-year cycle. This describes something nearby. They stand back to back, two brothers in arms. I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent. Do you think there will be any more of these uh, uprisings? Market day has been completely disrupted. I'm sure there'll be a solution to this conflict soon. Well, I hope so. Bulging eyes. Fangs. This is Tlaloc, the Aztec god of rain and storms. In his gentler temperament, he's also the god of water and fertility, bestowing life and sustenance. But on the other side of the coin, he is responsible for thunder and lightning, hail, and the other destructive aspects of water, including erosion, affiliating him with caves, pools, and springs. Oddly enough, he lives in a mountain. His bird is the heron, but he's associated also with animals like snails, frogs, and other amphibians. <laughs> Found you. Lara, your serpent guard disguise is good. I discovered the passphrase for the prison where they're holding my mother. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. Understood. We'll get her out, Etsli. There's one more thing. Hakan has been captured. He's my friend Kiara's dad. If he is sacrificed, I... I'll see what I can do. Everything is for sale, except Remax drum. Yeah. 
enjoy it. Hmm. Go come find me if you need anything else. To trade. These ear ornaments are in pristine condition. They contain a carved out illustration of a winged beast with a pronounced trunk and a torch or staff in its hand. This type of jewelry is a symbol of wealth and prosperity, maybe even belonging to royalty. The Paititians who wrote this believe that something called the Yashil live beneath Paititi. According to this record, these beings are strongest during astrological events, which is consistent with the legends, but they also attack and feed on humans, but that's not the behavior that usually appears in the stories. From this description, what they call the Yashil is the same type of creature I encountered in Kowakyaku. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Hmm, bit enigmatic that. I wonder what it's supposed to mean. This wooden firearm is almost an exact replica of a modern assault rifle. The artisan who made this must have had an excellent memory or worked from a model, perhaps a weapon stolen from Trinity. You there, girl, get away from that door. Your rebel father will die for his actions. That must be Kiara, the girl Etsy mentioned, which means Hakan is in that cell. I've got to find a way to get him out. I'm sorry, Ahau. Please don't hurt me. I only wanted to say goodbye to my father. I'm not going to hurt you, Kiara. I'm with the Rebellion. How do you know my name? Your friend Etsley told me I should help you. He... he did? Yes. So, why don't you tell me what's happened? My father blames Kukulkan for mother's death. I told him that nothing would bring her back, but he didn't listen. He tried to kill Kukulkan and now he's going to die and I will be left all alone. Hey, it'll be okay, little one. Maybe I can help. Really? There are other rebels here in the square. They want to help as well, but they're too scared. Maybe you can convince them. I'll do whatever I can, Kiera. I promise you, I won't let them take your father from you. Thank you, Aho. Call me Lara. Don't be alarmed. I'm a friend of Unaratu's. I'm trying to free the prisoner and I need your help. Of course, but those guards will kill us if we get too close. Deal with them first, then I will do what you need. I want to free the prisoner, but I can't do it alone. You must be the Ishiki Unuratu spoke of. If you can make it safe, I will help open the door. Blessings, Zahao. Are you enjoying the executions? The executions? Of course, but... 
I need you to stop the prayers for now. Would you play your instruments for an envoy of the gods? We would be honored to help. Are you still willing to help? Yes, as soon as the guards are gone. And now, music? Will this execution ever Can happen? Can I still count on you? Come on, those guards Better are Better make sure everyone stays in line. You know what you have to do. Okay, the guards are gone. We must move now. It's safe now. Help me open the door. Yes, we must move. This should do it. Friend. I do not have any friends that look like you. Trust me, I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Your daughter's waiting. Can you walk? Kayara. Damn. Kayara, go. Get someplace safe. I will find you. I'll find us a way out of here. I remember you now. You are the outsider I saw with Unuratu. And if I... Through here. Stay close. These are the old barracks. This way. Kayara, I am coming. The way out is blocked. It's okay in Wallet Ditch. Cabe in Putzolon. If we work together, we can move this stone. You helped. Not that. The way to what's important. To my daughter. Here, this knife. It belonged to my wife. I was going to kill Kukul Khan with it. I have no use for it now. Oh, Kayara! I thought I was never going to see you again, Papa. I am so sorry, my sweet child. Let me look at you. I promise I will never leave you again. Come on. Let's go home. Exalted and knowing may enter the sacred ground. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. Charade of rebellion. Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. Can you say this to my face? You know. Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home. Unarutu, dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? 
We all create destiny, together, as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well then we must fight for it together. According to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we, we must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? <laughs> Take her back to herself. You can send me back. But I will never betray your people. No. You will just fail them. The box is gone. <laughs> A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. Kuku Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kuku Khan. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one, something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick.
The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Kaiyuaka Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for NT to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams or fields or brickyards. Kaiyuaka Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. Oh no, Kukulkan. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward, the first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world, and thereupon several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly, their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist's uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Paititians when possible. Sí, cabrón. 
Wife of Enti, daughter of Viracocha and mother of the founders of the Incan Empire. Likely another artifact extorted from the people of Paititi by the cult. I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay. We're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah. When I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon. We have to hurry. Yeah. When we get Unuraju out, we'll all go find the box together. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
city is only as strong as its crops and people. From here, we control the water, never having to rely on the Fickley rains again. A working Maya aqueduct might be able to climb up there. Go. <sighs> 